Hey y'all. So it is Saturday. Happy weekend. How is everyone doing today? I hope, like I always hope, that everyone is doing awesome. My hubby and I have been just grocery shopping for the house and I'm excited about once I get off of this, um, off of this 48 hour fast. It's over at 1 a.m. Sunday. So as soon as it hits 1 a.m. tonight, I can eat. Um, so I actually am going into this um, 48 hour fast, uh, post 48 hour fast meal. Um, I went ahead and got prepared because I really believe that um, last week, or was it last week? I believe it was, I don't remember, I think it was last week. Yeah, last Sunday when I completed a 48, that 48 hour fast, um, I really think that the reason that I ended up just going crazy over cravings is because um, actually I didn't prepare my fridge with the foods I was craving at the moment. That's something I recognized um, as a, <clears throat> a fail. So thank God, like God gave me the discernment to understand that that's what was going on. So because of that, I today uh, we went ahead and went grocery shopping and I said, you know what? I'm not gonna fall victim to all of that no more. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, buy what I'm craving. So um, it's really chilly out here where we're at now. Um, so I went ahead and bought some shrimp and I'm gonna make like this kind of shrimp veggie soup, which is what I'm craving. I really wanted like the seafood mix um, style of soup, but I've already been to Sam's and H-E-B and I'm, I'm over it. I wanna go home. Like people are just everywhere right now at H-E-B and Sam's. So I just wanna go home and I went ahead and um, bought that so i'll probably share with y'all how i make my soup it's really yummy my hubby loves it so it's my first time making soup with shrimp so we'll see how it comes out but i'm i'm pretty excited about it so that's why i went ahead and did differently and um hopefully um it'll keep me good and so i'm also going into it coming out of the 48 hour fast um I want to have a perfect macro day so I know my uh, 40 hour fast is over at 1 a.m. and I didn't want to have something too heavy so I was like well a soup I thought you know a soup it's it's not that heavy um, to go ahead and eat before you sleep so I'm not even sure yet if I'm gonna even eat at that time because I know 1 a.m. is a horrible time to eat um, you just go right to bed and I do feel bloated when I do that so I'm thinking I'm not going to have anything um, until tomorrow morning, but I want to still go ahead and cook it, have it ready for whenever I do wake up Sunday, I can go ahead and just have my soup, even if it's just for lunch, um, which I mean, if we end up staying up late today again, my hubby and I, um, I'll, we probably won't even wake up till almost about lunchtime. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yes, I went ahead and got prepared. I also bought some feta cheese, some actual Greek olives because I'm gonna make this yummy salmon, salmon, Greek, no, Mediterranean salmon salad style of um, meal that I found on IG. Um, so I'm excited about that once I start um, eating my meals for um, this one entire week. I'm excited about that. So I got a couple of things that I'm pretty excited about. Oh, and I'm trying to finish up my skinny syrup um, order here for the first time. I got some new flavors for my Keurig for coffee and I'm really excited. I got some whipped cream. So it's gonna be on this week. Like I'm trying to have perfect macros this week. So hopefully God willing, I wanna do like a whole entire week of perfect macros and see how good my body does. Um, but yes, we'll get into that later. Anyways, I will share what we bought once I get home. Some stuff are for my hubby. Some stuff is for me. So yes, but I'll majorly probably just share what, what um, I got for myself. But anyways, I hope y'all have a happy blessed Saturday. I know I'm having a good Saturday so far and I'm just excited y'all. Like this is my birthday month and I'm so excited no matter I'm just excited for another year of life. I'm excited for 
seeing what this new year of life holds for me and um i'm just really happy 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 about life honestly so anyways y'all have a happy blessed saturday and i'll show you all actually we'll see you all at home all right y'all so the hubby and i just got home and i'm gonna go excuse my hair so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what we bought Okay, so we went to Sam's and H-E-B, and first we got these chicharrones that my hubby actually told me to get because there's a lot and it'll last me longer. Um, so we got that zero carb, zero trans fat, half an ounce, 80 calories. So it's the usual that almost every chicharron brand um, has as far as the macros go, but this is going to take me a while to finish that's a good investment there and then this is what i'm really excited about so i got this um from heb as well it's a 48 single serve pack of um of these little cups for the keurig and we have french vanilla caramel cinnamon vanilla nuts and hazelnut flavors so oh, this is amazing and also that was my hubby who told me to get this one instead of just the little 10 pack of starbucks caramel coffee which is like eight bucks um this will last me longer and it's just better investment um also i went ahead and i was wanting to buy this for a while now i went ahead and also got the um reusable single serve coffee filter you don't need to put any uh paper filter here because it has that little stainless steel cup there so you don't need to do that you just buy this and you can reuse it wash it and reuse it forever basically um and that's just in case i get tired of these flavors i can always go and grab me some ground coffee of any flavor i want and go ahead and do that this was like four dollars at heb and then look what i found also y'all at heb i found this non-dairy with almond milk um whipped cream for the coffee and anything else but um it's 10 calories per two tablespoons it has almond and coconut non-dairy whipped topping and so let me show you the macros well first of all it's gluten-free vegan no artificial sweeteners no preservatives and so it's um 0.5 grams of fat one gram of carbs total sugar is just one and an added sugar is one but um i mean overall it has almond milk coconut cream less than two percent sugar pea protein which i know we shouldn't be having but i mean you know xanam gum um it's it doesn't have too bad of ingredients for keto but i'm excited to try it out um i just saw it and i just thought well we'll give it a try right so i got that and then well this is for my hubby this is i i'm not gonna eat this but this is for him i bought some of this um for his breakfast in case he wants some it has like 18 cups three different flavors so that's really good like for a quick breakfast um also and this i got at sam's also i got some turkey just six dollars worth of turkey in case um i want to do like turkey turkey um lettuce tacos which i found a good recipe on ig i saved it and I'll probably do that whenever i'm not too hungry and then i found this really good steal at sam's nine bucks for a whole two pounds of feta cheese and it's it is chunked but you know you we can always cut it into the serving size and then just crumble it ourselves and um this is feta cheese and i mean here are the macros we have five grams of fat um zero carbs thank you jesus and five grams of protein and one whole serving is an ounce so about in a one inch cube which is really good so all it has is pasteurized um milk cheese and i mean it does contain uh it does contain milk but i mean obviously right so this was a really good steal i believe and then i also got me some greek olives i've been craving olives and feta cheese for a while y'all for a while and this has oregano sea salt and bay leaf i also found this at sam's and it was also on sale for like four dollars um so we got a lot of good sales today y'all um 
Let's see the macros on here. I I mean, I read the macros before I buy anything now. So macros are pretty good. Um, so three olives, 29 calories, three grams of fat, zero carbs, amen. So this is awesome. It just has pitted green olives, kilometer olives, sunflower oil, which isn't the best. I know red wine vinegar, sea salt, oregano, and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It doesn't have too much of dirty ingredients. But these two I'm going to use for another specific um, meal that I found on uh, this Mediterranean-style meal that I want to make later on in the week. And so I also need mint for that, so that's why I bought mint. Plus, mint always smells really good. Right? Can y'all smell it? And of course, got my avocados because I cannot live with avocado without avocados, and they're a little bit, they were they're pretty good. Um, so then we got some. What are these called? What do y'all call them? What do you, green onions? There we go. <laughs> these little green onions, some cilantro, and I got this lettuce. Um, I love this lettuce because you can use it as a bun for your burgers, your bunless burgers. So I'm going to use that for my uh, turkey tacos. I'm going to do a big thing of that. Put some turkey, some bacon, some ma mustard, and on we go. Then we got some mushrooms for the soup that I want to make today for when I break my fast. This one was also a really good steal. It's like 5 bucks for 24 ounces at Sam's. And then we got some baby spring mix, which I love to eat this with every meal. And also our romaine, parts of romaine lettuce, which I love to mix with my baby spring mix. And it is awesome. So, and then we have this one here, which is our shrimp for the soup I'm going to make today. This one was also on sale. For six dollars this whole bag for six dollars two pounds at sam's y'all y'all need to run to sam's okay and i love having the tail i eat the tail who else eats the tail on their shrimp let me know because people be finding me and my hubby weird because we eat tail the whole tail with the shrimp and then um i really love this dressing from olive garden i haven't gotten tired of it y'all it's really good and um you find this at heb you got two tablespoons for one carb, you know, but it does have one gram of sugar also. Um, and, I mean, of course, you have the soybean oil. So, it's not the cleanest as far as the ingredients goes, but, I mean, you know, it's still pretty good. It's still good. And then I got my olive oil for that um, meal I'm going to make. The Mediterranean meal I'm going to make, and that's it, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away. I just wanted to give y'all a little haul. And this whole pack for 48 cups was only like $14 at HEB, but that'll last me forever because my hubby and I we don't drink coffee a whole bunch of coffee like that, so it'll probably last us a good like two three months. So we are good, and so yes, look at all this yumminess! I can't wait. To be able to eat already but now i'm prepared i am prepared so anyways y'all i will talk to y'all soon look at the beauty that we're about to have on this 48 hour fast i don't even know how um just a little i don't even know how many hours i'm into it actually let's see it's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one i have six more hours to go I've just been having my water. That's all I've been having. This is my, once I finish this one, I have a um, hundred ounces in already and I only need about 28 to complete the gallon. So, but I am excited about this coffee. I've been craving coffee, I just didn't have any. Thankfully, we went to go do our shopping, our grocery shopping. So I'll put probably about Maybe two or three squeezes of um, stevia and have it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we start? Please. Please, goodness. This one takes a little while. This was only like 60 bucks at Walmart. I bought it about when I first started keto, so about a month ago. It's pretty good. It 
takes a little while to heat up. Here it comes. Yes. Look at that yumminess. Oh my goodness, this smells delicious. Y'all cannot smell it. But oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot wait to finally <laughs> put in my syrups and my whipping cream and make it all pretty. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like how light it's coming out. Hmm. I'm going to do a taste test and let y'all know. All right. I'm going to just put a little bit of these drops. A little bit of these drops. Straight up black coffee for this fast we're on. Four. I'll do it a little bit more. Alright, y'all, let me go ahead and mix it here. And go ahead and have us. I'll stay awake because I feel like I have to lay No, I'm mixing with a straw. It is a straw, y'all. <laughs> yes. Let me taste it real quick. It's competing with Starbucks caramel for you. Mm. It's good. It just doesn't taste like caramel. It tastes like like caramel and know what those little like tobacco type of um sweets what are those called now i'm gonna have to put a picture of what it tastes like because it tastes just like that which is perfectly good with me i like it i like it thumbs up it's good it's good y'all quick update i'm already on 50 hours um, or I'm 50 hours in to my 48 hour fast and so I got motivated um, first of all thank god I'm not feeling um, super hungry or anything I do feel hunger pains and they do come and go what I noticed is that green tea helps a lot with keeping the hunger pains away at least for about an hour to two hours and um, I keep on just drinking my water um, green tea I had a cup of coffee today so I am taking a little bit more liquids other than just my water but um, so right now I was like okay well I'm already 50 hours in let me just get on the scale to see what that number is real quick I am 0.6 pounds half a pound um, from going back to my weight my original weight last week which was 227 pounds so because of that I was like you know what thank you Jesus first of all and because of that I'm going to continue my fast I'm gonna see if I can let me see short-term goal is 11 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. tomorrow or today because it's already like I think two in the morning um, Sunday and if not then I'm gonna long-term goal is seeing if I can go up until um, uh, one in the morning Monday so a whole another day to see if I can get down to 225 pounds so um, I'm just, that's my short term, short term goal and long term goal. We will see. We shall see how it goes. But God willing, it will go great. So far, it's going really great. And like I said, I'm only half a pound away from 227 again. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I haven't checked if I'm in ketosis, but this obviously means I'm in ketosis already. And I can feel that I'm in ketosis already. Like you actually can feel that. So um, I will check if I'm in ketosis tomorrow um, in the morning 
Uh, but yes, I just wanted to put out a little update out there. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And this is awesome because it's just, I mean, my birthday month is starting off really well, thank God. And on top of that, um, I mean, gym in, on Monday, we're going to go hard at it, y'all. I'm going to go hard. I have a whole new plan for as far as working out. So I'm a little distracted from this really good movie. Oh, my goodness. My hubby put on Cody. Anyways, I will check up on y'all with y'all later on.